this slightly yellow solution is aquaresia and this is how it reacts watch closely as the copper foil dissolve releasing fumes and forming a complete new solution to prepare aquaresia i took 40 ml of hydrochloric acid it needs a 3 by 1 mole ratio of hcl to hno3 since 40 ml of hcl contains 1.29 moles we need one third of that which is 0.43 moles of nitric acid that means 19 ml of hno3 is required to maintain the right proportion i am adding the nitric acid in a small proportion while stirring this prevent excessive fumes release and ensure a proper reaction and as expected the solution turns yellow an indication of its extreme reactivity the mixture is strong enough to dissolve gold and platinum but since i am too rich i will use a copper foil instead now let's see how it reacts with copper the moment it touches the solution the reaction begin instantly as soon as the copper touches aquaresia the reaction kicks off immediately look at those bubbles form it this is a sign of intense chemical reaction The nitric acid is oxidizing the copper, breaking it down into copper ions, while the hydrochloric acid keeps those ions dissolved. This creates copper chloride, which gives solution its green blue color. Nitrogen dioxide, a toxic gas, produced when the nitric acid reacts with matter. This is why aqua rays is not something to mess around with. Proper ventilation and safety precautions are. The reaction keeps going as the more copper dissolves. If we left it for a long enough, the entire foil would be disappear. Oh, by the way, we are just two subscriber away from hitting our first hundred. If you love chemistry experiment like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really help us to bring you more amazing content. From dissolving noble metals to cleaning glassware, aquaresia is truly fascinating chemical. But remember, it's highly corrosive and dangerous, so always handle with caution. If you enjoyed this experiment don't forget to like share and subscribe for the more incredible chemistry reaction see you in next experiment bye